Rachel Levine comes to Queer News Tonight and sworn in as the nation's first four-star transgender officer. Dr. Rachel Levine is once again making history, becoming the first openly transgender four-star officer to serve in any of the country's eight uniformed services. During a ceremony yesterday, Levine was sworn in as an admiral, the highest ranking official if, uh, of the U.S. Public Health Service Commissioned Corps. Levine's appointment to the U.S. PHS Commissioned Corps also made her the organization's first female four-star admiral. Stay tuned as Queer News Tonight will soon be bringing you an exclusive interview with Admiral Dr. Rachel Levine. Doesn't that sound good? This is so huge. It's amazing. And it's normalizing what has not been normal, in, 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 and it's just fantastic that anybody can do anything, and it doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is or your gender identity. It's one, I think it's wonderful. I love it. When I first got elected 15 years ago, they thought that me being gay was a big deal. It's shocking that I was the first openly gay Hispanic elected in Florida. Now you have people, transgendered people, getting these wonderful, wonderful appointments. Our communities really come a long way. And we I have a long way to go. All these uh, conservatives who like to dead name her are going to keep doing so now. She's a four star admiral. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I wouldn't put it past them, but I'm really proud of her. And I think this is just beautiful. But let's talk about this interview that you're going to have with her. That's Can I meet her? Scary. Can you guys take a picture <laughs> and switch glasses? It's a, you know, it's taken no? three. No, no, that, no, no. Please, no. back off. Okay. Back <laughs> off. It's taken three months to uh, organize it. We're very excited because there are so many, clearly, uh, so many uh, issues. Um, history in the appointment of her being uh, the first ever Senate confirmed uh, cabinet member uh, for uh, the trans uh, gender community. So many things uh, that we're going to talk about in the news here. And you know, one of the things that's amazing about this story, which I really, really love, actually the reason uh, why we lead tonight's news with it, uh, this is October 20th, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where were we one year ago on October 20th? Oh yes, let's remember. We were dealing with uh, trans being thrown out of the military. Mm -hmm. We were no recognition by the Department of Defense. We were using the Justice Department to take away health care uh, in the military for anyone that related to it. And now one year later, uh, we have a cabinet member uh, that is trans and someone that is, becomes the first woman ever uh, in four-star admiral status. What a difference a yeah, year yeah. makes. Mm -hmm. Yay, President Biden. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus.